Hello, and welcome aboard Whale Pod to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm your Captain Whale, and in this episode, we're going to start things off with the optional discussion involving the uh, portrait of a console that was teased in uh, last episode's thumbnail. Could you all come around for a second? Well, that was a bit of a shocker, eh? The portrait of the portrait Stefan painted being worth 200,000 G. 200,000 G is equivalent to how many tasty sausage, please? Enough that even you'd get sick of him. Oh, ho, ho, that is an astonishing amount! More to the point, why would anyone drop that much currency on it? What use even is a portrait of Kay? Well, I suppose the city folk really hate Mobius, so... Target practice, maybe? Whoa. Bonus experience gained, 100, but for our purposes, zero, because we're already level 99. Now, Captain of the Guard, which does have a quest associated. I think we need to discuss this. The Captain of the Guard from Kevis Castle has been looking for us, it seems. Well, the talk of 4-0 Verbis, huh? Do you think they're not happy with us because we broke their flame clock? I wouldn't say so. That wasn't the impression I got from observing the fort. Without a console in place, I don't think it would be a trap. There's only one way to find out. Let's chat with the captain of the guard. Now we have the castle guard accepted. Let's also take a quick look on our map to see if there's a question mark indicating that Stefan <sighs> wants something up. from us, maybe. Nothing on the map here. Well, let's, uh... Maybe there's something in the city. Maybe Stefan hightailed it over there. Nope. That tip from the end of last episode made it sound like we were going to be able to find him around and uh, get some uh, worthless money from selling his paintings. I don't know, maybe that was just saying we can sell Kay's portrait to the city if we don't want to keep it. Now. Let's see what Captain of the Guard Sigrun wants from us. Hmm, yes, this'll be a good way to keep the castle's rate of e ether conversion. Proceed. Roger that. You mean all that ether I siphoned off for you guys? Excuse me. Oh, there you are. I didn't think you'd come. We heard you were looking for us. Right you are. It shouldn't take long to explain, and it'll really help us out. You might already know that the Guard is soon going to start a large-scale training exercise. Yes, we heard something to that effect. Not to put a too fine a point on it, but I'd like to ask you to help with the training. Us, really? The Queen of the Castle was a fake. But we never doubted her. We blindly accepted that imitation and betrayed the real Queen's hopes. But you, you're stronger than that. You can show us the proper way to train. The gods are those fancy troops who control the castle grounds, yeah? Problem is, we can't go easy on elites like them, training or not. We can't and we won't. Huh? What, we're actually doing this? Things, mu things must be tough at the castle, what with everything going on right now. Fair point. Not really much room to complain then, I guess. You'll help then. Brilliant. Hopefully this will get them working better together. What's going on? You got, like, a descent in the ranks? Sadly, yes. The guard is split into two units. Sultanar squad and, Ka and uh, Katoral squad. Let's just say the two of them aren't the best of friends right now. We're hoping that this training will remind them of the importance of teamwork. Right, understood. We'll see what we can do then. Our soldiers should be ready, uh, waiting at the eastern entrance to a guard and defense base. Thanks for your help. I see some relations have changed. Let's, uh, 
double back on him from Garnock's uh, gravestone here. Don't know much. Uh, don't know why there's a gravestone for Elevenissa. Uh, then maybe Valdi was here and put one up for it. Hey, Heath. Hello there, Ouroboros. The captain of the guard filled me in on the situation. Ah, uh, I don't believe we've met. Winona, captain of Cartel squad. And this is Heath, captain of the Sultanar squad. Pleasure to meet you. As far as I'm, I'm concerned, there's no higher honor than getting to train with the illustrious Ouroboros. I'm not convinced we'll win, but by the Queen, we'll give it everything we've got. To losing before you've even started. What idiocy. I say you're the idiot here. Underestimating an opponent like this only invites disaster. False bravado is a poor strategy indeed. You shut your mouth. This is what the captain was talking about, I see. Shall we kick off the training? Sorry, this is very unprofessional. Let me explain the exercise. We'll be split into two teams, one on the offense and one on defense. The attackers win if they manage to take control of this area. The defenders, on the other hand, will need to incapacitate all members of the opposing side. Of course, as the guard, we'll be taking the defensive position, so that leaves you to attack. Sounds good. I know very well that you're stronger than the norm, but I'm not going to give up my position at, as the first guard unit so easily. There's hardly a wolf's whisker between the first and second units. Oh, so you're both really great? Is everybody ready? Let's get this done. Right. Time to storm the castle once again. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. You can be sure I'll do my part. Max, you're dealing with me. You're a lifesaver. Come on. You're dealing with me. You're a lifesaver. Ah, Resident ah. Slash. Oh, we saw Fiona with us. We should probably change that back to Melia. Well, too late now. This stuff can probably all be done as soon as the castle's been liberated in the fight with Consul Chris. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. I don't want to fight them. But all right. Yeah. Eyes over here. You're a lifesaver. Yeah. Ring of yeah. Resident Flash. Eyes over here. Time to get uh, cracked. You're dealing with me. Thanks. Mate. Eyes over here. You're but Kevis is elite guard and not really all that uh, yeah. putting up that much of a fight, are they? Let's uh, let's go ahead and swap Melia in here. Wait, no, we're not gonna swap Melia in here. Melia's battle music is inferior to this to this track, and I don't want it being right. overwritten. Don't try to stop us. I don't want to fight them. But all right. No Maximum Eyes over here. You're a lifesaver. and we were just getting started well we can get started again right over here Senna I'll make this quick can't let you show me up Noah eyes over here thanks Let's use it to the max! 
19 of 29 taken care of. Looks like here's the bulk of the remaining forces. But you're in our way. We'll be out of here in no time. Oreo! Who hit first wind? Good going, Uni! You're dealing with me! Thanks! Oreo! Now, this final confrontation does feel like it's going to be a little anticlimactic. Seeing how easily we're uh, cutting through them already. Good going, Uni. Don't try to stop us. We'll be out of here in no time. Last few stragglers. Granted, even if we were at the level, two signifers between Fiona and Tyon would be way more than a match for them. That was more intense than I expected. Yeah, so that's what Ouroboros is like up close and personal. Speak for yourselves, you ain't slouches. We're all strong individually, but much more when we work together. I'd almost forgotten the importance of that. Ah, we work perfectly well together in our squad. We never lost a single... Oop. Heath. Uh, yeah, okay. Sultanar squad, Kartal squad. Guess I can't deny we're all cut from the same cloth. Thanks for the reminder. Really, there's no need. Oh, but there is. I'll re-examine my formations and strategies wh while this bitter defeat remains fresh in my mind. Heh. Guy's got spirit. I like him. Hey, how long are you going to lollygag around? Hop to it. Uh, ah. Winona, you get over here, too. Well, he seems more chirpy than before the training exercise. I think some things finally clicked in that fight with you. There was something missing in him, and no, in, in the hole of the guard. I can't thank you enough for today. We'll have to really hone our skills if we want to get the better of you. Yeah, not a chance in you know where, Winona. And that's that. Yeah. Reminds you of us, doesn't it? Oh. You know, how we all tried to take on too much ourselves and all that. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from. That all went great, I thought. Great training, great battle even. Were you watching? I caught the tail end of it, but still. Thanks to you, both Heath and Winona learned the aspects they need to improve upon. We, the Guard, are tasked with protecting the Queen's person, and that and what she stands for, so we need to be stronger than the rest. But that doesn't j mean just individual strength. When you can truly accept your peers, warts and all, that's when you see the beginnings of strength. So it's like you need to have some kind of special bond? A uh, bond, yes, that's a good way to put it. It may sound trite, but I think there's a greater strength than just tactics and theory. Sounds like you you getting us to work with Heath and... Uh, Winona was a huge success. <laughs> not at all. You lot are the real heroes here. Really, thank you, Ouroboros. Anyway, I'd better go and see how my valiant subordinates are holding up. Don't work them too hard. 
and tell them we'll beat them again next time and all. Quest complete. The castle guard is zero experience, uh, 2950 gold and three surplus soul points, as well as Cosmos anklets. Not quite as hype as Cosmos anklets would be. Relations have changed. Now. Back into Fort O Verbus. The tap dancing knob on. Now we're going to take a quick break while I look around the fort for anything else we may have to do. It's not going to strike us or anything, right? You should be fine, Senna. You are the shortest of us after all. And with that, we're back and we have a new question mark here on this previously closed gate between Colony 11 and Fort O Verbus. Oh, hey there. I sure didn't think I'd bump into you guys here. Hey, Sigrun. Good to see you again. This gate had been closed for a Spock knows how long, right? Are you the one who opened it? I am. Castle orders had forbade opening it until then. Putting Colony 11 under quarantine for contamination by you Ouroboros was a shamefully foolish thing for me to do. Come on, what else could you have done in that situation? It was what it was. Chill. I'd love to speak a few more, but unfortunately I have something urgent to deal with. I need to head back right away. Oh, and if you happen to spot Zorin, could you do me a solid and tell him to come see me? Zorin, um, sure, I guess. Cheers, you guys are such a big help. Fate, uh, accepted. We have Ashira back with us for this because it's going to be dealing with Colony 11. We did spam some Collectopedia cards to get Colony 11 to, uh, five stars, though. What? Well, I certainly didn't expect the likes of you lot to come and speak to me. Because, you know, uh, full well how much of a pain in the ass you are. That's besides the point, though. You know, Sigrun, the captain of the guard, she wants you at her office, pronto. Heh. <laughs> And I certainly didn't think I'd hear that name come out of your mouth, either. Sounds like you two are acquainted. So what's Sigrun to you? This is Zorin. All squads spend all duties, assemble for an emergency summons. Hey, are you even listening? Not a problem. Easel and Clad have also been informed. That's the kind of deal we're looking at here. Yes, it's a summons from her. There'll be no latecomers in this mission, so get to it. Hey, who will you just call? <laughs> One Rattlejack present, just as you ordered, Captain Zor. I remember you from Clad Squad. Why have you suddenly decided to, ro to rock up here? This is a special summons from Zorin. We're talking about here, of course we can't just ignore it. Yeah. I guess we can't. You idiots can barely function without having every little thing explained in agonizing detail, after all. What's going on? You're from Easel's squad, is that right? Wait, didn't I tell you? Me, Hexen, and Jack were originally... Enough idle talk. We're to head to the fort at once. For oh, Verbus, right? Can't wait to see what ha what fun happenings we have to look forward to there. Afraid we got a skedaddle or a boros, but don't worry. I'll sure we'll have barrels of. Uh, I'm sure we'll have barrels of fun next time we meet up. <laughs> oh, that was really something. What an Ionios is going on at the fort. I'm not sure. What I do know is that trouble and disorder are never far off when they get involved. I hope Sigrun's alright. <sighs> Come on then, let's go see what all the fuss is about. I see some relations have changed. And we're dragging around Commander Ashira with us to do it with as well.
After all, I just enjoy having a Shira in the party. She is absolutely SS tier when it comes to her use in chain attacks. I don't know if, uh... It's been an age since I was here last. If Eno, the new, uh... Naponish hero is... Uh, equal to or greater than her, but Ashira is still the best we're gonna have for this playthrough because... The DLC is gonna be saved for a more definitive Let's Play once all the DLC is out. And once I'm a more seasoned YouTuber. Oh, if it isn't, if it isn't you guys, thanks a ton for getting the message out. And if you don't mind me saying, you're all looking pretty pale. What happened between then and now? Um, we called these guys over just like you told us to, but are you really sure about this? Hmm? Sure about what? Ah, uh, I get you now. Seems like the Ouroboros really know what makes you guys tick, eh? Was that an attempt at humor? What drivel? Relax, you guys. You're well within your rights to be concerned, I know. But the reason I called Zorin and his squad over was, is to help me out with a certain little job. What job? The kind of massively important job only they are capable of pulling off. A job made for the guard's vanguard, the Antares squad. Wait, did I hear that right? Hold on, by they, you don't mean... Oh, pull the other one. I thought they were supposed to be Colony Eleven soldiers, weren't they? I was cut off from saying it earlier, but we were originally part of the Guard. Officially, we work for Colony Eleven, but even now we get the occasional personal request from the Captain here. It may be hard to believe it's true. Among the Guard, they were the elite of the elite. What she said, in, in a better, fairer world, I might have even been your superior, making you guys my little subordinates, you know. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Uh, anyway, what's this job you mentioned earlier? Uh, of course, sorry. I was going to explain, but then we got sidetracked. First, we'll need a change of location. Follow me. I see some relations have changed. More information here. Well, look at you all together. I was just on my way uh, to get in some extra training with Cartel Squad, you know, for our rematch. Or at least that's what I wish I could tell you. I've actually been given a new mission. I'm currently chasing up rumors of underground descent against the castle. We know there's uh, some kind of shady business going on down in one of our ether mines, but not the specifics. It seems there's a chain of command outside of the guard regiment hindering the investigation. Goodness, sorry. I'm sure you didn't want to hear all about that. Just pretend you didn't hear it. I wouldn't look into it too deeply. Though, you're free to do as you wish, of course. Rumblings at the mine, one of two. That'll probably be how we start off next episode, is rumblings at the mine. Uh, right at the edge of the fort before we actually cross into castle territory. So what's this guard captain got to do with Zorin? Hmm. I knew the castle must have had something to do with why you called us over here. True, but also I need you to avoid exposing embarrassing slip-ups in public. Slip-ups? A few days ago, a section of the guard started an armed uprising and hold themselves up in the castle. Uh, armed uprising? What? what Yes, they've taken over a section of the castle, but they haven't gotten any further since then. It's a stalemate situation. A takeover? Now you have my attention. I'm just surprised that a rebel element could even arise within the guard. You say that, but their fierce loyalty to the queen is exactly why many of the guard can't accept that they were loyal to a fake. There are four segments at the vanguard of this rebel movement to seize the castle, 
Uh, sergeants at the vanguard of this rebel movement to seize the castle. They proclaim themselves as the Queen's four divine wings and have made two demands of me. The four divine wings. A haughty, high-handed name, if there ever was one. What are they demanding, then? To transfer command of the guard to them and to hand over the Ouroboros. Us. This upheaval of Ionios lies solely at the hands of those treacherous Ouroboros. It is the Queen's wish to see them purged. This was the declaration of one of the sergeants, naturally. I have zero intention of yielding to either one of their demands. Hmm. I saw this coming. If we aren't going to give them what they want, then we'll have to bring those rapscallions to heel, won't we? I get why you brought us in for this job now, seeing as we're no longer part of the guard and all. If the current guard were to fight their own fellows in the internal division, it would cause... Uh, uh, the internal division it would cause could be catastrophic for the organization. Yeah, you read that right. I came to the conclusion that only you guys, outsiders with inside knowledge, could do this. Heh, still making us fight our old comrades. Who knew you could be so unscrupulous? But I have no objection, I shall gladly accept this job. We just love ourselves a bit of dirty work. Nothing like writing off any craziness we get up to as an accident. I'm raring to give those holier-than-thou pretenders a wake-up call of their lives. Hey, wait a moment. Maybe you could let us help out with, uh, help you out with this job. Hmm? I appreciate the thought, but if you join in, it means you also take on responsibility for the mission, you know? Yes, of course, we know that, but it's just, well, you see. If you won't spit it out, Noah, oh, we're worried that what'll happen if we aren't there to keep those nutters in check. Heh. <laughs> You're worrying yourselves uh, over nothing. You won't get the most things done if you don't pull out all the stops. Not much difference between bringing them to heal and just killing them already. <laughs> they won't stand a chance. I see your point. Accompany them and make sure to keep them in line, okay? Of course, we'll make sure they don't raise too much trouble. Just to be sure, our mission is to suppress the rebel forces and make sure their leaders come back alive, not dead, right? Yeah, that's the gist of it. I know it's odd to say now that I've dragged you guys into this, but I owe you one. I really do. We're done briefing here. We will sort I at once. Any ideas on how we're gonna find these four divine wings? It's not like we even know where they're holed up in the castle. Our enemies are the ones we meet in battle. We need only scour the battlefield clear to, uh, clean to find the scum we're after. Into the castle we go. Four locations to head to around the Keves castle. First one's just up here. That one looks like it's going to be back in the storage area there. Two on the upper floors. Cool. You kept us waiting a good long while. Finally feeling inclined to negotiate. You think there's still scope to talk after everything you've done? Kevesi said against Kevesi, this violates the will of her benevolent majesty in surety. Our taking over the castle was merely to show that incompetent, disloyal captain of the guard our superior will and resolution. So then, you're saying you absolutely do not want to fight? Why, of course, but depending on what you do decide to do next, we may be forced to take desperate measures. Naturally, we wish to avoid such an unpleasant course of events, and we would prefer that rational judgment prevails. So it's come to this. What is their deal, honestly? Huh? No, not you. Surely it cannot be you. Uh, yeah, it's me, all right. You're Hexen the Atrocious from the Antares Squad. What are you doing here? You should have been discharged. I should have been what now? 
Uh, am I supposed to have been, uh, supposed to have seen you somewhere before? By the flames, don't you dare say you've forgotten about what you did to me. You're an evil wretch who tortures his allies with glee. You inflicted an untold amount of suffering on me. Ooh, I remember now. That did happen, didn't it? It was thanks to all your kind help that I was able to come up with a more efficient method of torturing the human body. <laughs> Queen's flapping wings. She's com she's completely off the rails. Uh, all units, battle stations, proceed to attack at once. Whoa, whoa, hold your ponios. We ain't done, done nothing yet. I think we've gone way past the point of talking it out. Silence. I have no words to say to creatures like you. You shall die in short order. Now, come on. Didn't we just establish a moment ago that your beloved queen would hate for us to be fighting? Indeed, but that Antares squad, they're different. Her, her prudent and wise majesty would be most understanding of our plight, I'm sure. They're totally losing the plot. So ultimately, their conviction is feeble. They're little more than another weak mob, a rabble. Let's end this. And we have these four fighting alongside us, as if we needed the help. And we get a smash off on him. Looks like Uni was the culprit behind said smash. Now... We can re-up our stance here and get the Shadow Eye. Just throwing out the talent art and throw out the talent art there. Well, too bad, you died anyway. Why, is that it already? Guess they were all bark, no bite. Ah, curse it all. How can this be happening? Yo, Zor, I'm feeling a little itchy, you know. Do you mind if I tear it a new one? Eek, no, stop, stop. Don't come near me. T one scum, all one scum, always scum. She's all yours. Hold it, good grief. It's a snuffing good thing I decided to come along. I beg of you, don't delay it any longer. Finish me, please. I can't take the pain. Sigrun, I've secured one of the four divine wings. You can deal with the rest. Yeah, sure thing. And also, are you okay, if you don't mind me asking? I may be imagining things, but it sounded to me like you were about to cry. Oh, uh, nothing uh, to worry about there. At least not for us, anyway. We'll head back into the storage area before going into the upper reaches of the castle. These guys are still here, are they? Nope. I wish these guys would not be actively hostile towards us now. 
Now we've got another squad here. You there! Are you the unit the captain of the guard dispatched? If you're asking that, then you must be. I admire your resolution to fight us all on your own. Though, to be honest, I thought a sergeant would know far better. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. I don't intend to fight you. Please, you deliberately called us over. Do you think we're stupid enough to believe you're not fighting us after doing that? We can't fight on anymore. I'm telling you. We're all so exhausted. We can barely move. I knew we should never have done this. Taking over a castle with no supplies was asking for trouble right from the start. So you're saying you surrender? Yeah, but before that, could you give me and my soldiers some food to eat? I know I, I, I know just how pathetic I look begging you like this, but I'd be nothing without my soldiers. If you knew how bad of an idea it was ahead of time, you shouldn't have tried taking over the castle in the first place. But first, the food. We haven't got enough to let you eat at all, so someone will need to get some more. Sounds like a job for me. I happen to know someone who can give uh, uh, me exactly what I need to help these guys out. You sure you ain't gonna poison them or something dodgy? I am a chef, remember? Just you wait and see. I need to head back to the Fort Canteen first with their kitchen. I can cook up just what these guys need. Right. Let's see, uh... Yeah, we're close to the back entrance now. Now let's, uh... Canteen back of the fort. We'll head in from the back there. A little less uh, enemies to go through to get to uh, the guys from over there. Hello, Denny boy. Uh, been ages and ages since uh, Panina seen you. It certainly has been ages, ma'am. Sorry to rush through the conversation, but can I borrow your kitchen? Please to go nuts, Denny boy. You good friend and Panina always help out friend in need, whatever need may be. Happy to hear it. I'll help myself to a few of your ingredients as well. Then, uh, I'll pay you back later. Condiment that Denny boy always liked to use is found on usual shelf. Go do what need doing now. All right then, let's get cracking. Sorry for the wait, the food's all done and ready to eat now. Let's head back to the castle before it gets cold. Fortifying gold soup. And we have apparently now met Panina, the tap dancing is tap dancing knop on. Giddy giddy, come over other day to pay, play little instrument, uh, little performance on instrument. Now console not here to forbid could enjoy snacks and music at same time, symphony and mouth and ears. That sounds lovely. I wish I could have been there to hear it. Yes, highly recommend not to miss our out next time. I see some relations have changed. I wonder if that console was N or Chris. Now there's the other piece of information we'll need to gather. Good to know where Heath is for that. Uh, we need the... We need the map that lets us change areas. Castle first floor... Or no, we do need Syra hovering reefs. But we're gonna be going to Pr Protector Revelta's uh, tombstone. don't have to fight either of those two big boys out there. I wonder if they're even still enemies. Well, I know these guys are still enemies. Not to worry, just stick to the plans. You guys are idiots. And you're about to be dead, idiots. More dead idiots coming into the fray. Well 
Here's your order. I call it fortifying gold soup. My word, it's just an ordinary looking soup. And yet just by the smell alone, I, I already feel so reinvigorated. It's a special soup which blends spices and natural medicines together, making for a delicious and invigorating meal. The stomach can't digest solids after a long period of starvation, so you'll need to eat this first before you eat anything solid. I'm shocked that you'd go this far for us. Now that we've surrendered, what do we do? If the Queen, the War of Agnes, everything we knew was fake, then what do we believe in and fight for now? Well, I'm no uh, boffin, so I can't really help you out uh, with that one. But there's one thing I can say, it's this. You should first get a tasty meal in your system to cheer yourself up before doing anything. That way you'd, you, you'll fill your belly, your mood will improve, and then the good ideas will start coming to mind, I'm sure. <laughs> you really aren't a boffin, but uh, it's uh, not what you say, but how you say it that counts. Looking back at me and my soldiers couldn't have uh, done with dwelling a little less on the past, I think. Once my soldiers have finished eating, your soup will head back uh, to the captain of the guard. Of course, it won't be to beg for her forgiveness, but to seriously consider what our future will look like. Nice one. I bet the captain of the guard will be thinking about the same thing, too. Also, once we get the chance again, we'd absolutely love to have some of your more tasty cooking. You'd better believe I'll cook you up a storm. There won't be any wanton bellies by the time you're all done eating. Oh, what the Spock? That's not fair. Why does Brad always de- uh, Brand always de-escalate everything? There's more- There's more ways to fight than besting an opponent in battle, and Brandon won, did he not? I gotta say, I'm glad things didn't escalate for once. Matt. I guess we know Ionios like the back of our hand now. Second floor is clear. I Ionios like the back of our hand now. Third floor is going to lead us near the true preserve section. Oh no. You, what unit do you belong to? Tell me your colony affiliation now. You have three seconds. Ah. <laughs> I think we've got our guy. You're a lucky boy, you know. He hasn't got that many soldiers with him. Now's our chance to get him. And get him we will. Somewhere from the side, that'll get us, uh, get us our talent art ready to go. Assuming we're able to yeah, even set up a launch on some of these weaklings. Get, gotta get out of here. They're too strong. What? He made a run for it. A chase edge is perfect. You better make sure I'm out of breath by the time I catch up to you. And the human hunt begins. Have fun. Yo, Uni. We came to suppress a rebellion, right? I don't see much rebellion suppression here. Well, duh, lands. These guys are in it for the sadism and not much else. Fugitive footprints. Hey, you guys. Time to die. But you're in our way. And you're idiots. That's the big part of it here. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. Let's light these mothers up. We have superiority. Well Push through. <laughs> 
Don't try to stop us. Ah, uh, down here to where the dark triad were located. Don't have to worry about any annoying uh, little uh, fights there. Don't try to stop us. We do have to worry That's about right. these two here, Let's though. Make it quick. You hit first wing. Good going, Uni. Hide over here. You're a lifesaver. The Trapper. I couldn't keep them in check. Resident Black. And that's one elite down. Good job, Uni. You're sorry. And two elites down. Power. Yes, can't feels move. just like it should. Looks like you managed to escape to the outer walls from here. If I remember correctly, the place where the annihilator used to be is just ahead, right? But now that's not there, it's become a dead end. Yeah, <laughs> you know what that means. The dumb snuffer's only gone and got himself cornered. <sighs> I'm with you on this one, Tyon. These guys are insatiable. Found you. It appears you're all out of luck now. This is the end of the road for you. Uh, please, uh, help me. At least spare my life. I'm begging you. As if. Huh? What's going on? <laughs> you fell right into my trap. Just as I thought you simple-minded imbeciles would. My analysis proved correct. You're all a bunch of browbeaters who love to boast anyone who you think can't push back. I knew something was off. Your futile escape was an act to lure us into a false sense of security and into your trap. Heh. <laughs> There's nothing I wouldn't do to make you all suffer. If it weren't for you fools, I would have been brought... I would have brought glory to Kevis. The queen herself would have commended my triumph. What you did, I can never forgive. As part of my glorious plan, I shall sentence you all to death. He kind of reminds me of Tyon, gotta be honest. Hey now, that's just out of order. You take that back. For the love of it, leave the bickering for later, dumbasses. We're kind of in a life or death situation in case you've forgotten. Enough talk. You shall now learn just how fatal your recklessness is. Over here. Right here. I think you're about to learn just how fatal your stupidity is. Nice Senna. I know. Feeling good, Paul. We can do this. I can feel it in my mind. Resonant flash. Feel that. Oh yeah. Smash him down again. Like someone's angry. Good job, Eugene. We can do this. You guys ready for this? Oh, that we are no.
Uh, this can't be right. My glorious plan was supposed to be flawless. You'd call devising an underhanded trap glorious. I suppose you've never learned of irony. I guess he's also never learned that the quickest way to deal with a surprise trap is to brute force your way out of it. This is inconceivable. How did I, a far more intellectually capable being, lose to you meatheads? <laughs> Let's see what you say about us meatheads after I'm done ripping all the limbs off your body, eh? No, no. You're that girl from the Antares squad. You're just as, no, more atrocious than the rumors claimed. If I were you, I'd surrender now while you've still got a limb to surrender with. Right. One more to go. Of course they're in the throne room. Up oh, wrong way. Ah, uh, here's the stairway up. Been so long since we've been in here, I couldn't exactly remember. Ah, are you the reinforcements? Yes, the captain of the guard re re requested that we come. We'll be taking over now. Ah, I see. Hope you'll understand if we withdraw for now. The guy you're about to meet, well, he doesn't go easy on us just because we're Kavesi. You be careful, too. Well, well, well. If, uh, if I ain't gone completely loony, I think I see a very warm and familiar face. I figured you'd be involved somehow, Balroy. Hey, do those two know each other or something? Oh, they can't seem to get rid of each other. Though, uh, I'll be honest, it's more of a one-sided thing. But I've gotta say, you're really not the luckiest snuffer, are ya? You must have been begged to come here by our- by that pathetic coward of a guard captain. Tears pouring down her eyes and all. But enough of that. Why don't you join my squad? I'd love nothing more than to kill some snuffers with you again. You seem to be salivating at the thought of it. Yeah, well, of course I am. Kill or be killed, that's what it's all about for us soldiers. The queen being a fake piece of Agnes. Don't care about any of that. You can be Kavesi, Agni, and whoever. Doesn't matter to me, all that matters to me is killing. You get it, don't you, Zor? Why you ain't in the guard no more, eh? Uh, don't you? You appall me. I'm sorry, what did you say there? Couldn't hear you too well, old chum. I have nothing more to say to a blustering piece of scum like you. Blustering, you say? And what's that supposed to mean? I said I have nothing more to say to you, scum. Let's get on with it already. Ooh, I just wanted to hear that. Let's get down to business then. Once I have your head, I'll do you the honor of returning it to your precious captain of the guard. Well, aren't you a charmer? Let's see you try and take my head, shall we? Smash him down to earth. And down they all are. What's gotten into you, Balroy? Your over fists are shaking like mad. 
Perhaps you're remembering that time I almost beat you to death and now fear is overtaking you? What was that? Are you saying I'm scared? Are you saying me, Overfus Balroy, is scared of you? Like snuff I am! You don't have to love uh, to waffle on, do you? You're a dead man, Zor. You're a dead man. Ah! Round two. Enraged right from the start. Smash down that blocker. And we got a smash on a Balroy there as well. And down he goes uh, for the second time. Ah, snuff it all. You still ain't nothing but a snuff spark, Zor. And you're nothing but, but instinct, Balroy. Takes a whole lot more than that to beat me. Oh, come off it. We're one and the same. We both know that much. You're but a slave to the thrill of the fight. You can't even begin to comprehend why it is that people actually fight. We fight to better ourselves into something more till we can give no more. No matter how futile we think it may be. Aren't you gonna finish me off? That's for her to decide, not me. Though it's not like I'd give you an honorable death to a fool like you, anyhow. We're done here. Let's move. Uh, sh sure, but are you just gonna leave him like that? Leave him as he is. A miserable wretch like that is of no interest to me. Curse you! Back to the reefs. Wish there was something a little closer on the reef side than just the tap dancing knob on. And that's everything dealt with, Captain. Yeah, we just got done putting the Surrenderers into custody. You've gone soft. Kill off a turncoat and you kill off any little worries about them doing it again. Peace of mind. I'm Captain of the Guard here. I get to decide what becomes of them. Ha. Huh. So the weak, indecisive soldier speaks like she's all grown up now. I've had to endure more than my fair share of tough situations, you know. 
ever since you left all that time ago. Good, then keep on maturing and growing. You wouldn't want your subordinates to make a mockery of you now, would you? My job here is done. I'll be returning to Colony 11. Hold up, Zorn. Come back to the guard. We need you like more than... Uh, we need your like more now than ever. And besides, by rights, you should be captain of the guard. Just as I was starting to think you had matured a little, turns out you're still the same person I remember from long ago. However, that should mean you already know what my answer is going to be. Isn't that right, Sig? <sighs> the next theater of operations you have for me had better be something with a bit of bite to it, okay? A challenge that I can throw everything I have and more into. You got that. Quest complete. Fate, uh, zero experience, uh, four, uh, 54, 10 gold, three soul points, and nothing else. I see some relations have changed. Looks like colony relations have changed. Now, with that, we are going to call this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 here. I have been your Captain Whale. I hope you did enjoy this video, Whale Pod. Make sure to like, comment, and sub the channel if you have not done so already. If you did. None of those are necessary, but all three of them help me out greatly, and I appreciate them greatly. Now, with that said and done, I hope you all are having a fantastic day, Whale Pod. But until next time, remember to stay cool, stay classy, and most importantly, stay healthy. And until next time, this is Captain Whale, signing off. <sighs>